Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video you are going to learn about partial classes in programming. This concept exists in multiple programming languages and here I'm going to show you an example in C Sharp. So a partial class allows us to split the definition of a class into multiple different files. So basically you can have multiple parts of the same class. And this is very useful for organizing your code, especially in large projects, and also when you have multiple developers that are collaborating and working on the same class. By the way, if you are watching my videos and learning programming because you want to get a job and start making money and start working on interesting projects, then it is not going to be enough to just learn individual programming concepts. You need to get real experience and you need to get career-ready skills. So for that reason, I have created Code Beauty Academy where you can learn practical programming and work on real projects with real developers. And that is going to give you the experience that you need to get a job. So if you're interested to join Code Beauty Academy, you can find more details in the description. There we will take you from beginner to expert in programming. And in this video, I will teach you about one small concept in programming, and that is the concept of partial classes. So let me show you how you can create and use partial classes. Let's say that we want to make an application for managing books. So naturally we will have a class called book, but I don't want to have everything inside one class. Instead, I want to split that class into two parts. So I will have two partial classes and inside one part I will have all of the properties and inside another part I will have all of the methods. Now the question is how can we create a partial class? It's actually very easy, let me show you. So I will create it here at the top. So you simply say public partial class and then you give the name to your class. I will call it book. And here inside you are going to write the definition of your class. So let's put here some properties of a book. Let's say public string title like this. And then let's also say public string author. Okay, and let's also say public int year get set like this. So this here is just one part of our class. If you want to create another part, again, you simply say public partial class, and again, you call it book like this, and here you can define another part of this same class. So in this part here, we have properties. So let's put methods inside this second part. So here I will say public void, let's call a method show info like this. And inside this method, I want to print, print the information about this book. So I will say console.writeLine, let's say title, and then let's write the title of the book like this. And then let's do the same for the author like this, and also a year like this. Now, something interesting that you can notice here is that even though this class has been split into two parts, your computer still treats it as a normal, regular class. And for that reason, inside this second part, you are still able to access all of these properties that have been defined inside the first part. And also, here you should be able to access all of the methods from the second partial class. So this idea of partial classes exists for the benefit of us developers so that we can organize our code and so that it is easier to manage our code. But for your computer and for your compiler, this class here is just a regular normal class because when you compile your program, all of these different parts of your class will be combined together and this will become one single class. So now, if you want to use this class, you can use it just like you would use any other normal class. So let's go to our program, and here I will create an object of class book. So let's say book, and let's call it book1. I'm going to create a new book, and then let's say book1 
dot title. Let's say that the title is going to be 1984. And then book one dot author is going to be George Orville. And then book one dot year is, I believe, 1949, maybe. Okay, so here I have created the book. And now let's say book one dot show info like this. And if I start the program, let's see. Okay, here we have the information about our book. So that is how you can create and use partial classes. And now I will give you three main benefits of using them. The first benefit is organization because you can separate different aspects of your class into different partial classes and that way it is going to be easier to understand the code and to manage it in the future. Second benefit is collaboration. So if you're working on large projects with many other developers, then if multiple developers are working on the same class, they can interfere with each other's work and that can cause problems. So in order to avoid those problems, you can separate that class into multiple partial classes and each developer can work on his own part of the class. And that way you are going to avoid problems. The third benefit of partial classes and situation when they are used is if you are working with automatically generated code. So for example, if one part of the code will be automatically generated by, for example, some design tools, and then you are going to write another part of the code. So in that case, what is usually done is that class is split into two parts and one part is for the automatically generated code and another part is for the code that you write. Right. This way it is easier to manage the code and also to find and fix bugs because the bugs will usually be in the partial class that you have written and not in the automatically generated one. I'm just kidding, of course, because real developers are able to mess up both parts equally. So those are main benefits of partial classes and now you know how you can use them, but also please don't overuse them because that way you can also create code that is unnecessarily complex. So use partial classes only if you need them. Hey there, if your goal is to learn programming and start a successful career, build interesting and useful applications, and if you enjoy learning from my YouTube videos, then you should definitely enroll in my practical programming course. I will take you from beginner to expert in just a few months, and I will give you all of the support and help that you need to achieve your goals. In the course, you will work on realistic projects. You will get access to a large community of successful developers, and everything that you need to learn will be on one place. You just need to follow the plan that I have created for you. And those of you who finish the course successfully will get a special certificate that is going to open a lot of job opportunities for you. In the description, you can find a coupon code to save some money. And if you're not sure if this course is for you or not, we have seven day money back guarantee, which means that if you don't like it for any reason, you will get all of your money back. No questions asked. So now instead of coming up with excuses, use this opportunity to finally learn programming and transform your life because you really have nothing to lose and a lot to gain. So I hope that this video helped you to understand partial classes. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know to create more videos like this one in the future. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.